Hello everyone, it's been quite a while since my last Star Wars Black Series 6 inch action figure review, but I finally got my hands on a long wanted figure from this series, which is the Gamorrean God. And what a figure he is. I couldn't wait to share my review with you, so let's dive in. First off, let's take a look at this packaging. Now, this packaging was the standard Black Series packaging of the time. It's obviously from a few years ago now. It is in that sort of black boarded box. Uh, not an awful lot going on really in terms of the overall design, but this box is a little bit different because it's quite a lot wider and a lot deeper than we're used to seeing in this series. Usually this was an oblong box, but of course for the Gamorrean Guard, they have made it twice the width and twice the depth. So this is actually quite a chunky square that you've got. Now, as I said, this series tended to be a little bit bland when it came to the overall design. It is mostly just a black void. We have the Star Wars logo. We do have this pretty cool image of the Gamorrean Guard in a sort of like greyed out sort of silhouette at the bottom right hand corner of the packaging. But there's not really an awful lot else going on here. There's a little bit of a window display showing off the figure and behind it there is that red inset which is pretty nice. Uh, and that's basically all there is. If we look at the side panel we can see that on one side it is just this uh, black void. Again a bit of a waste of space here. It would have been fantastic to have had the, uh, an image of the Gamorrean Guard taken from the film. That would have been really really cool. Likewise when we flip it to the other side again a bit of a waste of space this time it's a little bit more colorful though we can see the the, the red packaging here but yeah um, I don't really understand the the approach they've taken to this it's got something that's sort of like a barcode but it's not a barcode <laughs> on the side. I, I'm not sure what that means to anyone really or why they bothered to do that. Surely it would have been better to at least have the Star Wars logo on it. Then when we flip the packaging and look at the reverse we can see again we've got that image of the Gamorrean God it's kind of grayed out it's kind of difficult to see. At the bottom we have a, a lot of text and we have a little bit of information about uh, the Gamorrean God and his role. Uh, and that's it. So it's not really the most attractive packaging. It's not the most displayable or the most fun or exciting. And as a brand, I, I'm not really sure what they were going for here. Uh, it's fine. It's serviceable. It's functional. Uh, but it just feels like a wasted opportunity and, and a waste of a, a lot of fantastic space that could have been very colourful and fun. By contrast though, Hasbro did recently re-release the Gamorrean Guard as part of the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi in the original Kenner packaging, although upscaled, uh, and this looks pretty cool. This is a lot more colourful, it's a lot more fun, and it's interesting, well to me at least, how Kenner's original design that's 40 years old is actually more attractive, more eye-catching and more fun than what is being produced today. However, things take a massive upswing when we actually release this figure from the packaging because he's very impressive indeed. Whilst the figure isn't particularly tall, he is very wide and very strongly built, which is absolutely fantastic. And I have to say, I absolutely love the sculpting on this figure. I know it's an alien, but they've done such a great job of capturing the likeness of this creature from the movie. Uh, the detail is absolutely spectacular, and I think Hasbro have actually surpassed themselves here. There's so many individual elements that have been sculpted in, from the chunks on his armour, to the creases in his tunic, to the sculpted in lines on his skin to create that leather hide effect. And then they've really capitalised on this wonderful sculpt by utilising a whole range of different paints all over this figure. All over the tunic, all over the face, all over the skin tones, all over the costume. There's just such an awful lot of detail, even on the accessories, which is absolutely fantastic to see. So as you can see on screen here, we can see individual colours around the eyes there, of course on the nose, in the mouth and the lips, on the helmet, on the horns. Everywhere you can think of, they've actually applied at least, at the minimum, a wash. Um, which is absolutely fantastic, drawing out those little details, but also giving it more depth, texture, and just making it look a lot more authentic and realistic somehow. Now, all of these pieces are brand new. They are unique to this one character, which is really cool. So this figure obviously took a lot of tooling, probably accounts for the uh, higher price point at which he was going for at the time, but actually not too bad considering uh, some other figures on the market that we see these days. It's actually quite affordable uh, when in comparison. I also really like that they've utilised extra pieces to go over the figure, creating depth and texture, such as his harness there. Likewise, he has this wonderful furry fabric skirt or loincloth, whatever you want to call it. And in case you've ever wanted to know what lies underneath that skirt, you can see it is just a plastic mould, of course. Uh, but this is a really nice touch. I really love when we get fabric elements on our plastic action figures. It just really enhances the overall offering, and I just think it just gives it an extra depth, which is absolutely fantastic. 
Okay, so looking at the articulation, there is a ball joint at the top of the neck there, allowing the head to move from side to side. There's a little bit of resistance, and I wouldn't say there's a huge range of motion, but there is enough to get going. It will also nod up and down a little bit. Again, not a huge range of motion, but enough. And something that really caught me by surprise, his jaw is also hinged, so you can open his mouth. And it's wonderful because they've sculpted in a tongue, even the, the, the back of his throat there. And again, fantastic paint apps throughout. So this was a real pleasant surprise, really nice option that I wasn't expecting. And I think is very, very cool. He also has ball joints in his shoulders, so he can lift his arms up and out, and thankfully that shoulder pad is no resistance there, which is brilliant. Uh, so he can spin that around. There is a pin swivel at the elbow along that lower forearm to rotate all the way around and hinge to about 90 degrees as well, which is great. He's got another pin swivel at the wrist, of course, so the wrist will rotate all the way around there, and the hand will hinge forwards and backwards as well. He has a really cool ball joint in his waist, so we can get actually a huge range of motion here. He can move from side to side, he can lean left and right, and he can even bend forwards and backwards. There's more ball joints in the hips, so the legs can kick out to the side. There's also a complementary thigh swivel at the very top of the leg there, which is great. And of course the legs will kick forwards, they'll kick backwards a little bit, and there is a double joint at the knee, so that lower leg can kick backwards. And then finally there is an ankle pivot as well, so that foot can hinge forwards and backwards, but it'll also pivot from side to side. He also comes with some really fun accessories, including not one, but two axes, which are very, very cool. Again, very nicely sculpted and nicely painted. You can see some of the damage and the rusting on the edges of the axes there, which I think is really nicely done. And then he also comes with this staff as well, which uh, again, nicely sculpted, not much in the way of paint apps on this one particularly, but it uh, looks really, really cool. And obviously this guy was built for army building because you can uh, utilize these different accessories uh, amongst different figures and it would look really, really cool. You'd have a very distinct, different looking kind of Gamorrean guard uh, and create different looks with these accessories. Now, of course, he has absolutely no issues holding any of these accessories. His grip is nice and tight and it accommodates all of these various accessories very comfortably. Uh, so I have to say, top marks for this. I think this is absolutely fantastic. In terms of scaling, due to his overall girth and size, I thought he might actually be a little bit shorter than your average Black Series figure, but actually no, he stands a full six inches. As you can see, he stands pretty much level with any of the human characters, although there are certain aliens like Bosch who has a little bit of height on top of him. But this looks really, really good. I think I'm really happy with this scaling and I think it looks really impressive. So then, in terms of my final thoughts, well, I'm going to give the Gamorrean God a fabled five star. Now, it's quite rare that I hand these out, but I've this guy absolutely warrants it. Uh, he's definitely earned these five stars. I love this figure. I love everything about it. In fact, I'd probably go as far as to say that I think this is the best single offering from the Black Series so far. Uh, I love everything about it. I love that this is a, a unique figure. I love that it's all brand new pieces. I love the attention to detail. I love the different textures and materials they've used. I love the paint apps. I love the articulation. I love how they've included all these fantastic art uh, accessories and they've thought through the articulation when it comes to the jaw and things like that that's just very surprising and uh, I've always had a soft spot for this character in action figure form and this is definitely the best one I've ever owned I just think they've done such a tremendous job and I can't think of a single thing to fault it uh, I think it's just absolutely pitch perfect I love it if you enjoyed this video please do give it a like and remember to subscribe as there'll be plenty more videos soon